Ugh. I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about this sweater. It's just got like a weird, it feels kind of funky. Like it's not soft enough for me. You know what I mean? This table's like super cold and I don't know. It's a little too, like it's smooth and weird. Like it's not like my desk at school. I kind of miss my desk at school because it was wooden and it didn't get all cold and weird. And I don't know. I don't know what it is about textures. Hey. Speaking of textures, that's a really big art vocabulary term. So why don't we talk about it for a little bit? So boys and girls, texture is going to be a major part of any artwork that you make. Texture is one of our elements of art. When we talk about our elements, we talk about all those things that build up and create a finished beautiful artwork. So we think about our lines, our shapes, our patterns and then if we take those patterns and we start to repeat them over and over again and we combine them into small groups we can actually start to create textures out of those patterns so what I mean is exactly what I was talking about at the beginning where the, the way that my shirt feels if you look really closely you'll see that it's got all of this texture on it because it's a crocheted and knitted sweater so it's got a texture to it. It feels very rough, very bumpy. The table that I'm sitting at is sort of smooth. It's shiny, it's hard. I could find something more like these pencils right here that have a very rough texture to them. Very bumpy even maybe. So there are all kinds of different textures out there. You're going to need to think of a few more than that because there are so many. There's unlimited amounts that you can come up with, I'm pretty sure. So, I need you to come up with a little list for me. Come up with a few examples, at least five, enough to count on each of your fingers. And there's a reason for that and I will show you in just a moment. So, for this project, for texture, we are going to actually be using our hands. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find yourself that piece of paper and you are going to just start by first tracing your hand. Pretty simple, I think we've all done this before. But I don't want you to be loosey-goosey about it. I want you to carefully trace close to your fingers that way that we get the shape that is as close to your actual shape of your hand as possible. If you wanna add your wrist, add your wrist whatever. So there's my beautiful hand. Now what I'm going to do is remember we had one, two, three, four, five textures. Huh. Weird because we have five fingers. We're actually going to be putting every texture we came up with on our fingers. So we're going to take this blank empty textureless surface and make it look like I have, hmm, let's say a hairy thumb. What other words can we use to describe some textures? What about a spiky pointer finger? I could do slimy, rough, fluffy. So my goal for this is to make each one of my fingers look like the texture I came up with. Your textures are different. You might have come up with very different words than this. Some of them might repeat, but that's okay. You're going to make sure that the words that you came up with are on your paper and try to create those textures by repeating patterns. So on my thumb, I'm gonna make that hairy texture. I can do that by making maybe some little lines. Lines that go all different directions are gonna look more like hair. 